I feel like Ko's getting kind of antsy. I swear to God, dude. This is locked? Oh, wait. Bro. Science. What in the heck is this? Can I bomb this? Oh no. Didn't bring my bombs, chat. Dang. Are there bombs here anywhere? That should keep you safe. Mm, safe fur. Ooh. Unfortunately, looks like we don't have what we need to get in here. That's okay. Because honestly, my armor is all about to break. It's probably better if I head back here. What's up, kiddo? I am. I'm fighting big black ants right now. How you doing this morning? There. I'll be really quick before ant comes. Oh yeah, that's a great call. Yeah, chat. Hi, chat. Okay, so we cleared out all the soldiers in this area. I think. Look. Yeah, those are those are glow things. Slime mold stuff. You. Oh yeah, those little zappy robots. What we gotta do now is we gotta go back to our base. We gotta get some bombs. Yeah. Come on, stamina. Oh, my lord. What are those? Oh, it's just some grass. Some nice red grass. It was still my, my armor, my chest armor, and leg armor are pretty much completely dead. It was, I wish those were spiky bombs. I wish they were spiky bombs, too. Then you could get them. But. And those exploding things, and they would explode spikers. That is very smart. And hot lava. What? Where'd the lava come from? You can melt rock. Oh, okay. Cool. Because you know what happens in a volcano, how lava gets formed? I do. 
Uh, it goes to the center of the earth where it's super hot. It's called the, the molten core. Yep. And lava and stuff is, is kind of like the blood of our planet. Yep. Don't even need to boil it. <clears throat> Have you? <coughs> there you go. Now you're out. I am out. You're actually not lost at all. I'm okay. Where? I'm by the black black ant hill right now in the southwest. Uh, Philzor. Yeah, we're going to be doing Are scary games for sure. snails in this game? You know, it's interesting. I've seen some snail shells, but I've never seen a snail. So there are snails in this game, but I don't know if they're actually fly. <clears throat> I don't know. Are you fighting that ant? Are you fighting that ant, daddy? Because I need ant... Oh shoot. Because I hope this guy isn't going to chase me to this poison. Poison. Apple puts off a poison. Good. What Thank you, Mary McChaz. Appreciate it, buddy. What kind of poison? Uh, it's like a rotten stink, but we're so small that it hurts us. Because the food is right. You know how rotten food smells after a while? It's the same thing. Do you have any food? Some jerky. Oh, yeah, it's weird, there's no earthworm too. Yeah. We do. So each ant drops basically one part, one to two parts. And my shield, for instance, that I use all the time, takes four parts. To repair. Well, and now I have 19. So I've got a whole lot of parts. We're gonna be back here in just a minute too, so we'll somewhere then. Sand. Sandbox is right there with the big sand lines. <clears throat> Those are pretty scary, huh? Mm -hmm. Why do ants get stuck in this? Um. Because it's like a bunch of little tiny grains, and they have trouble walking on it, and then an ant lion will make a pit, so an ant kind of falls in and it can't get out. If it tries to crawl out, the little grains go back down towards the center. Ant lions are surprisingly smart for being little bugs, understanding how the world works, little physics geniuses. We want to go. Don't go in the pipe, though. Don't worry. We're going right over here. Yeah, that pipe brings back bad memories. Hardest fight so far in the game was through that pipe. By far. And it looks like we're about to get another super hard fight from the looks of it. Is that door it looks like we're busting open? Suspiciously looks like an arena. So that'll be Daddy, Hi. Do have, you should collect claws from an ant lion. Oh, the big mandibles? The big claws, Daddy. Yeah, what should we do with them? You can make something that you can squeeze and then it goes like this. Oh, like a big pair of mandibles? Like the ant lion has? Yeah. Smart. What if we took a bunch of them and we tied them together and we made a giant sword? Ooh. Does that sound good? In fact, how about it looks kind of like this? How's that look? Because we can actually yeah. make that. Let's do that. Okay. Well, can you also make my suggestion? <laughs> Your suggestion? Uh, I wish we could, but unfortunately, I don't think a giant pair of ant lion scissors is part of the game. Don't, That's a really cool idea. Don't fight if you're These things always break on me. You! B mother, oh my god! Oh my god. 
Because that beat just messed me up, Rowan. Not only did he mess me up, but he broke my anchor point for my zip lines and threw all of the like 50 plus soak that I used over the side and um, ruined my day. Yeah. Is that a snake? That is not a snake. That is a power cable to this giant device here. I don't know what that device is. I don't either. I think it's like some kind of little computer or something. I wish the bees only fight it if you if if you fight it if the bees. You know, most of the time that's the case. In fact, the bees are neutral, uh, which means that normally they only attack. Only attack oh, no. oh boy. Um, however, because we're near that big honey pot, they really, really like that honey pot. So. Because they defend the honey pot. I'm gonna die to the sand. Oh, not. It's close. There we go. So because they're so near that honey pot, they uh, they defend it. I think. I think that's what they're doing. I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty needed. sure that's what they're doing. But you could have a pet roly poly, a pet bee, and a pet ant lion. All sounds awesome. And a pet ant. Have you ever considered putting a little hut around your anchors? I think that's a really good idea and one that we may have to consider and look into. Um, I haven't in the past, but the only thing is, though, is like when a bee is charging forward, it does so much damage. Like if a if a ladybug is in my base and it starts doing moves, anything it touches instantly dies. <sighs> So unless I'm building like mushroom level stuff, which I hope is stronger. I'm not even sure if it's stronger. I hope it's stronger. But unless I'm building like mushroom level things, then it may not even stop it. Like, you know, so. Dry grass. Mm-hmm. Dry grass is used for all sorts of stuff in this game. Oh, do you need to collect some? Uh, I've got a bunch in my base right now. I'm, I'm pretty good. There's also a bunch right near my base, so if I ever need some, I can just run out and grab it. What you could have... Um, what did you... What kind of superpowers do, did you get? Um, in this game, the, the kind of powers that you get are called mutations. And uh, they have different levels and stuff. So I just switch around the mutations based on whatever I need. So right now, since we're running around, I made one that makes me, I put one on that makes me faster and one that gives me more stamina so I can run, run longer. And then I have another one on that gives me more stamina so I can run longer as well. What was that? that Why was are you going? a bombardier beetle. Where am I going right now? Now I'm going up to the top of this table because what I could do is run all the way back home like that, which would take us probably about, I don't know. Like five, five to I'll eight remember minutes. the bees. The bee. I'm gonna try this this time. I have to go down. Oh no, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. I'm gonna go around him this time. That's what I should be doing right there. Yeah! See, we're doing this. <laughs> Why do you need to take that? Because if you see, this is the area we would have had to run before. But what we did was we built the zip line. The zipline is not only faster, but it's a lot safer. It's faster and safe. You got it. Because those little ladybug larvae. Oh yeah, those ladybug larvae over there. Those things are rough, aren't they? Yeah. And it's more fun, and it's more fun. <laughs> How do the parents not notice the ziplines? The parents are gone. So what what we've discovered in the lore is that the husband, who is the guy that was making all this stuff, um, he was experimenting in his backyard. But his wife, frankly, had enough of him, and she took the kids and left because he was like way addicted to what he was doing. Keep me safe. So the husband safe is the her. husband is missing. Oh no. Where's my chest piece? Is my inventory full? Did it drop? 
didn't think my inventory was full. Wait, what? I know it broke, but my inventory wasn't... Was it full? Oh, wait. Ah, I got auto-sorted. Okay. Oh, we're good. We're good. So, anyway, going back to what I was talking about. Um, so, basically, what happened is... The... There's nobody at this house right now. The only person at this house was the husband. But he is missing. And no one knows that he's missing. Because the only person that was doing anything was his wife. And his wife took the kids and left. And wrote this kind of, like, sad note where she was like, you know, please do something. You're obsessed with your work. Uh, you know, that kind of thing. Like, you know, a very unfortunate note. What's that sound? Uh, that's probably the ladybug that's trapped under my thing here. Trapped? Why? Why is it trapped? Yeah. Uh, it's trapped because it spawns under there, and I'm not really sure why, so we're going to have to get it out and try to do some other stuff. Why is he with the kid? Panda Bombs, you're talking about why am I with the kid? Why is my kid in here this morning? Because I invited him in. Is he my little bro? Who am I playing? Okay, so here, here's the story so far. So here, here's here's what happened. Um, Doctor Tully was working for this company called Omniscient, and Omniscient is just like a big tech company. And apparently, his projects were failing. His projects weren't doing very well. So, um, he decided that he was gonna like, um, <clears throat> he was about to get fired. And he was looking to basically do something to try to save his career. So he started working super hard on this old project he had called the Spacer, which is a shrink ray thing. Um, he was working on it and he put the working prototype in the backyard of his house here. And he was working on it and he kind of got it working, but there were problems with it and all sorts of stuff. And I think, and this is where we're a little fuzzy, but I think at some point, Either he got it working and then got fired, or he got fired and then decided to keep working on it to try to get his job back. Um, but DLDR, he's no longer with the company, and he had a working prototype in the backyard. So, Omniscent either found out about it or decided that they wanted in on it, and they started finishing up and working on their own version of the Spacer, which apparently has this problem Better called raisining. Starving which um, makes it so people are super dehydrated if they get shrunk and reshunk. And they're trying to figure out the raisining thing. Dr. Tully apparently already figured it out, but he's missing. And at some point, and we're kind of figuring this out through little snippets um, of dreams, at some point, Omniscent kidnapped four children and tested the spacer on the four children, our character being one of the four children. And in our last dream which is the third of either four or five, I'm thinking. The head honcho at Spacer looked at our character and said, dispose of him. And the other woman in the room, after he walked away, said, I didn't sign up for this. So what I'm guessing is that the woman in the room had a change of heart, and that instead of disposing of our characters, she put us in that little container and dropped us in this backyard because she knew that Dr. Tully was still here. So the guess is that we're running around here because we were we were given, we were put here by the woman instead of being killed. We're not the doctor's kid from the sound of it. No, we are not the kid of Dr. Tully. The kids of Dr. Tully are with his wife off somewhere else. So we are not the kids of, the, of Dr. Tully. Maybe one of the four kids is, but this kid is not this kid calls dr tully dr tully he doesn't call him dad so yeah we're, we're still figuring out what's going on but what are you doing bud trying to get comfy is that better yeah i'll be okay 
I'll figure it out. So anyway, that's where we are. Um, is there a stronger foundation we can make, chat? Um, how do you help the ladybug get out? I'm gonna have to do that pretty soon. I don't know when I'm gonna do that, but I, I do need to do that soon. Windows are going to go on either side of this. Hey, do you have any water down? Um, I got some bubble water, but that's about it. You want some of that? Yeah. Right over there in the country. I see it. Am I making a castle? I'm making outer walls, yeah. Because I keep getting attacked by a bunch of roots. on six now? No, he's a uh, out of Oh, no, I said rude. What I was saying is, how old are you? Hi. There you go. There's a little grass. I think that was an aphid. A little tiny aphid, bro. Now we'll put in doors. Daddy, do you know that ant movie about bugs? I do. No. The little ladybug? No. Oh. Which one are you talking about? The, the one with the ant. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. In one of the ants has a pet aphid or whatever. That yeah, he does. Mm-hmm. Why is this obstructed? Okay. Oh, you hardly have to move. Thanks, bud. Good looking out. Um, what's wrong with, uh... What's wrong with this? Daddy, why is it red? Why is it red? I don't know, actually. Uh, hold on. Let's scroll up you guys come. Clay and pebble are the foundation. Okay, so clay, clay and pebble are the strongest. No, red right there. Yeah, I know. I know. Is it because of that stone right there? Maybe. Seems weird though, because I could build the foundation there. Maybe it's because of that dirt. That dirt that's piled. Rock and stone. Rock and stone! Oh, it's because there's a rock in front of the door and it won't open. That's what it is. Rock and stone? Rock and stone. To the bell. Rock and stone? To the bell. Rock and stone? To the bone. Rock and stone? To the bone. Right, Daddy, the... are you going to make a wall right there? Boom. If you make a wall all around your house, you'll know those ladybug larvae. Ah. That is an excellent idea. In this. You know what we also say with rock and stone? You can help me out here. You can go for Carl. Carl. That's right. Don't. Oh, yeah, we got that stuff. There it is. That's what it was. The grass was in the way of the door opening. Okay. Right. That's what it was. Okay. Good looking good. Have you get the ladybug out now? I need to, and I'm going to. Wanda. <laughs> I will. Give it time. Oh, I like algae. Yeah, there's an algae in there. That's right. When are you going to go in the water that has fish again? Uh, I don't know yet. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
I saw another streamer make a weevil farm, put mushroom bits in a soda can. Weevils go in and kick it out the farm. Yeah, but don't you have to keep putting mushroom bits in if you do that? I think about that too, but. I think you have to kind of like babysit it if you get that. I think I need another oven, Chad. I think I need another oven. Hope you build an oven. I'm, going to. I'm glad that I make my sleeve extra warm. Oh yeah. Can ladybugs go through the door? Um, no. What a, can all can any of the bugs go through that door? Yeah, ants and stuff can. Yeah. Okay, so here's what we gotta do. Hi, buddy. Kind of weird that There's I keep doing There's also an ant. Yep, there is. So what we gotta do is we gotta we gotta fill all this in with foundation. That's the main thing. I think I think that's why. Maybe wrong, <clears throat> but I think that's why the ants keep spawning. Yeah, I, I think that's why the ladybug keeps spawning in my base. It's because I don't have a foundation on the ground. I'm assuming that animals can't spawn in foundations because, you know, if they could, that would be a mess. Animals would just be spawning in houses all the time. But because I have it like this, I think I was not giving it enough room. Get out. I think the ant does when we get out. The okay, so what we need to do is we need to give this this girl a path out of my base. 